ATV Financial with Cody McCurra. They're all bunching into that third turn. It's going to be a wagon race like no other in the home stretch drive. The old riders are key. When that, uh, <clears throat> when that wagon's lined up at barrel one, and you have your uh, horses on the wagon, there's an outriding horse right here with an outrider holding the leaders, so he holds the lead horses straight. The wagon driver points the horses up here wherever he wants, where he's comfortable that he can turn that barrel. The outrider holds them and watches that, that wagon driver. If he wants them shifted right or left, they'll communicate with each, with each other and, and do that. At the back of the wagon, there's a stove rack. So there's a little stove that an outrider has to set on the ground and it has to be touching the ground at the start of the race. So keep in mind, when those outriders are doing that, they also have their own horse to hold, which is uh, called an outriding horse. Um, so they gotta control that horse as well as hold the stove on the ground or hold the leaders. When the horn blows, the back outrider throws the stove into the stove rack of the wagon. The lead outrider lets go, and as the wagon is moving up, this outrider goes ahead, and he's kind of right up here as the wagon is turning the barrel. The stove man, he follows the wagon all the way up, and then he fades off the back wheel, and he's going to go to here. Now, about that point is when the outriders jump on the horse in stride. They don't stop the horse and climb on and they don't take them over the fence and climb up the fence and get on or else they'd be late and that's a one second penalty. So those guys are very athletic. As the horse is galloping, they grab onto the breast collar and the horn and they vault themselves onto the horse. As they vault themselves onto the horse, the wagon is coming out around his barrel and the outriders then are on the back of the wagon or on the stove rack of the wagon. So as that wagon comes out into his lane, these outriders now have to look for the other wagons coming off of their barrels. Okay? <clears throat> so the outriders have to fall into place behind the wagons and then strategize as they go around the track and pick their place where they can pass the other wagons to catch theirs or just fall in behind their wagon. The outriders have to be within 150 feet of the back of the wagon at the finish line of the race. If they're not, it's a one second penalty. All riders are also subject to um, hitting a barrel, missing a barrel, uh, missing the stove in the stove rack, having the stove off the ground. They can't finish ahead of their wagon. There's many rules that the outriders have to follow in order to be a successful wagon and outriding team and win the show. Oh,